Yeah, you turned around too late. What the hell are you doing? I have to talk to you right away. Oh, he is a what nerd. What the fuck? Big nerd. <laughs> Listen, a major issue's come up. How do you lose someone's balls? Hey, welcome or welcome back. I'm Dana with your daily dose of Dana Dubs, and today we're watching episode five of Don Da Don. And I'm super pumped. It just keeps getting better and better, and I can't wait to see what's gonna happen in this one. But before we get there, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell because it really does support my channel. And then you'll get notified when the next one comes out on my channel so we can keep watching together. And while we wait in the meantime, I do upload a new video of a new show every single day. So if you don't like this, one you'll like the next one and real quick before we get started i just want to highlight some of my favorite comments of last week's video thank you so much to all of you that not only take your time out of your day to sit here and watch with me but also leave me comments it really makes my day and it makes me so so happy so thank you so much and let's get into it guys this is gonna be a good one i can already feel it i can already feel it like, where are your balls? Okay, I guess we know what this episode's gonna be about. <laughs> I guess he still doesn't have any balls. Dang, this is just so beautiful. It looks so real, but also drawn at the same you're time. Just saying hi, no big deal. Oh, you practiced all night, so you're ready. You practiced all night. You got this. <laughs> You've never He's done so anything cute. like this before, but she can't know that. Aww, young love is so sweet to witness. Oh, Karun, yo, there's your girl. She's waiting to say hi to you too. He's gonna not say hi. Is he gonna run away? Is she waiting for me? Say hi. I mean, we've been through a lot together, so. Together? No, I, I bet she's waiting for someone else. Go say hi to her, bud. I'll just stay out of her way. No, don't do that. She's gonna think something's wrong. No, come on. <laughs> there we go. You're late. Come on. I don't even know why Netflix puts the skip intro button on this show. Why would you want to skip this intro? It's so dang good. No matter how many times I listen to it, I put on repeat, I listen to it every time I watch it. Shoot, they nailed it with this one. I'm not a huge, huge intro person. I will say, I'm becoming more of an intro person. I'm quite proud of myself. I used to always skip intros. Psst every single time. I was like, I don't have the time for this. I would go through shows and literally never watch the intro sequence. But Don Da Don, it changed something for me. This one is just too good. It's too good. But I will say I have been getting better. I have been. By the end of the show, guys, I'm gonna know the lyrics. Just you wait. Let's wait for the the twelfth episode. I'm gonna know all those all those words. <laughs> so good. Alien said there were no girls on their planet, just dudes. I don't know how long it took him to travel here. But I bet She's that's so the excited like about it. By the time they landed. I wonder what kind of food aliens like those eat. I love how she's not traumatized by that whole experience. Huh? Oh. Was he even listening I to her? Guess, uh... Well, here's the class. See you later. Um, yeah. Oh, come on, Okaroon. You literally saw the girl half naked. It's okay. <laughs> Get out of my way, you moron. I'm mad now. Don't do this to my boy, Okaroon. Leave him alone. He's a good guy. Don't go bullying him. Come for you. Is he looking at all his UAP magazines? Oh, he's so cute. Not a problem. No matter how horrible the other kids are to me, I can forgive them. Because I have Momo. Because now, finally, I found myself an amazing friend. Oh, he's so cute. Oh my gosh, I love him. I can forgive them. I can forgive them because I have a Momo. Oh. All right, let's hear what she's thinking now. It ain't working. She's zoned out. I don't know. Oh, she doesn't have her makeup this time. Text. Her Yaru she says girl. She lost her phone. She bailed on school yesterday. Yo, mm. maybe she hooked up with her dirtbag ex. I right? hope not. A. Maybe he dumped her again and she freaked and broke herself, and that's why she's a zombie. Nah, no that one knows. Tracks. Her and Okaroon, yo. <laughs> Talk about aliens. <laughs> oh my gosh, I, I love talk it. To Miss Ayase about ghosts. You 
And she totally wanted to talk to me, too. But I was so nervous I couldn't. She must think I'm a jerk. Ugh, I want to talk to Okaroon. I want to find out what he thinks aliens eat. And if they poop or wear underwear. I How love could you be such a dumb dummy, Ken. I want to talk to Okaroon. I love this. I, I forgot his name was Ken. Us, or she'll hate me forever. I want to talk to him. I got to talk to him. Oh my gosh. They really nailed the early stages of a relationship. And just that desire to always talk to them and be around them. But the shyness and uncertainty of how to approach this situation. I think they really nailed that. Young love. I love how Momo is such in such a blatant disrespect of the dress code. Okaroon. Do you know his real name? Dude, I ain't telling you his real name. He wears round glasses and digs the occult. They're both looking for each other. He's lunch, so he's probably in the calf. Um, excuse me. Is there a miss I here? He's too nervous to even say anything. I'll try the cafeteria. Bump into each other. No, turn around! I'll try the school store. Well, if she's not in the cafeteria. Ah, you turned around too late. It's so frustrating. She's not here. I'll try the school store. Guess I'll try the cafeteria. Oh gosh. I hope they bump into each other eventually. It's so sweet, but it's so frustrating. Like the whole lunch period is gonna go by by the time they finally see each other. So they still kind of talk to each other. After this morning, she must have decided no! I was boring. She thinks I'm a pest too. Don't think that. Jeez, our lunch break is almost over. Where the hell is he hiding? Oh my gosh, they're literally right next my to each life. other. It did seem kind of mopey this morning. <laughs> Maybe he thinks I'm pushy. Oh no. Kind of am. I should have asked him what was wrong instead of blabbing away like a dork. Look over. She's super popular. What does she need a friend like me for? Look over. Maybe I'm just a backup. No. Oh my <laughs> god. Doesn't want to hang out with me. No. Just Maybe look over. I don't even count as a backup friend. Oh gosh. They both have very low confidence. But I'm rooting for you. You guys are both great. You're both great for each other. The cloud makes a little heart. How cute. That's them. Okay. <laughs> Please, look over. Why do I have to be such a wimp? Man, Are they gonna run into each other now, like not this. looking at each other? Sorry, yes. Say. I'm sorry, Okaroon. Yes. Boom. Ow! Wait, did their lips Ow! just touch? Ow! Miss Ayase! What are you doing out here? I was oh gonna ask you the same. Oh, I think you cracked one of my teeth. I spent my whole lunch break looking everywhere for you. So did I. Me too. Why couldn't you just stay in one place? Uh, uh, are you serious? You were looking for me? Yeah, and now our lunch is almost over. But this whole time, I, I thought you were avoiding me. What? I thought you were avoiding me. Oh man, this is so awkward. <laughs> You guys were kissing. <laughs> it did look like it. I know I've been so weird. Hold up. You think I go around kissing nerds like him? Yeah, and like I'd never kiss a stupid girl like her. Gosh, shut your hole. I'm doing the rejected around here, you. You know they always have to end up arguing. Well, I don't ever want to talk to you again. Go kick rocks. Fine. Oh. I don't want to speak to you either. <laughs> She's totally in love with him. They're talking to each other. Yep. <laughs> I knew that's what they would say. I went way overboard back there. Yeah. I like talking to her. I better come up with an apology. Is he just not gonna realize he doesn't have any balls? Oh fuck. Girl, I really think he was a guy in the courtyard. Who is he? What class is he in? Dang, blabbermouse, they went and told the whole school. They were, and he's your typical nerd. Glasses, the works. What you shut up! Oh my gosh. Hey guys, her face coming. What the hell are you doing? I have to talk to you right away. Oh, he is a what nerd. The he's a big nerd. <laughs> Listen, a major issue's come up. I said I didn't want to talk to you anymore, so go back to class. Go, shoot. There's no time for that nonsense. This is important. I need to speak with you now, alone. Please come out and talk to me. Please. Piss off. Damn, you're harsh. Sorry for your boyfriend. Like I said, he's not my boyfriend. This morning you had no problem talking to me. Why are you acting like this now? Well, you did say Don't you didn't want to talk to me. I only mm, her, said her feelings are hurt. I felt provoked. The truth is, I like talking to you. It's all I think about. Yeah, I think about. Yeah. Shut it! I don't want to talk 
And that's that. Get lost, creep. Don't break his heart. Especially when you I didn't know do being want friends to talk with to me him. embarrassed you that much. <gasps> Grown. Don't break his heart, please. He's such hey, a good you're guy. Right. You're a good girl. That, don't. Don't. What's up with you? He said something that really hurt her. So she was trying to get back at him. Hurt people hurt people. I guess she went home already. <gasps> Sorry. How clumsy of me. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you okay? My bag's heavy because of my water bottle. I hope it didn't hurt too much. Nah, it didn't hurt me at all. I've been working out, so. <laughs> I'm really sorry. He's like, oh my gosh. It was my fault. No, You're talk so to her. Oh, kind. Huh? Oh. Oh, okay, girl. Okay, mm, girl. Sucks. <laughs> I feel like I'm the bad guy here. I mean, well, I guess I kind of am. Yeah. Look, <laughs> look, you let him go. And look, another woman's touching your man. Who is this? Mm hmm. He said he didn't have any friends. Should have went, should have talked to him. She's cute, too. She is. Now go get your man before someone else Did does. You see that guy? He looked so hilarious. He oh. totally fell for me. He'll be dreaming about me till he's old. You are so mean. Oh, for please. real, though. It's fun having dorks like him drool over me. That was probably the best combo he ever had with the cute girl. Heck, that was probably the first time he was ever touched by a girl. Oh my gosh. Here I was like thinking. <laughs> that's what you get, girl. I mean, for real though, that's so mean. I guess at least she didn't say it to his face. But... Oh no, that girl passed out. Could it be a delayed reaction from bumping into me? There you go, Momo. Look out for your boy. Wanna walk me home? Damn, you're looking sharp in those glasses. Some yeah. girls are just too stupid to see how cool a guy like you is. There we go. There we go. You show her. You show her. <laughs> it sucks that it took someone else talking bad about him for her to go and stick up for him, but my attitude today was the worst. Sorry for behaving that way. Mm. And like I'm not embarrassed about us being friends. Hmm. Oh, I know. I, I totally get it. I'm just happy we could sort it out and be friends again. Say what you need to uh, say. Uh, anyway, that stuff's not important now. Huh? What do you mean it's not important? I couldn't stop thinking about it. Calm down for a second. Listen, you know I how ain't we got no we balls. Took care of Turbo Granny? Yeah, she's gone. No more curse and you got your peen. Everything's back to normal. Not yeah. quite. <laughs> <Say what? laughs> I love his manners. Huh? Not quite. My balls are gone. My balls are gone. <laughs> Now you know why I asked to see your junk. How in the hell did you not notice? Grillo, it took him a whole day. Ass. When I saw my shaft there, I was so relieved I forgot to check the rest. Oh my god. Listen, I better scope you out. What? You're going to look? Not at your wiener, you doofus. I'm going to take a peek into your soul. Interesting. Yep. Momo, bring me some kind of doll and bring a wash tub full of water. I'm very curious to see hiding inside it. What she's going to do. Okay. Right, let's get this show on the road. Talisman stuck on good. All right. <laughs> you dummy! Okay, I didn't think she was gonna slap him. What was that for? Don't move or speak, you rotten tangerine. You're acting like a teacher in some old TV show. The lines in the kanji for person support each other. No, that hurt. Momo, you see anything just now? Yeah, I did. Mm. When you smacked him, the color of his aura changed. Mm. I'm gonna need your help with this. When you see the aura change color, grab it and pull it out. Okay. He's like, oh great. Hopefully you get it this time. Don't get slapped again. <laughs> Did she do it? I felt it in my hands. I had it, but it's gone. I'm sorry, Grandma. I don't know where it went. Take it easy. Oh, she did it. Good job, Momo. Oh, it's coming alive. Oh, oh this is the thing in the outro. Go on, get after it. I know. Here, kitty, kitty. Using your brain, Momo. Love to see it. Okay. All right. She's doing a lot better now. I'm so proud of her. Let me go right now. I'll marry you all. Let me go. Oh my gosh. Granny's voice again. That's amazing. Your psychic powers have gotten even stronger. What is it? That's Turbo Granny. Yep. I thought we got rid of her. You guys didn't hear the voice? Come on. In the afterlife. 
Don't go underestimating the elderly. A couple of sports like you can't destroy me that easy. Mm. Kind of cute like that. Don't you disrespect me, you little Don't punk. call me cute! Right when the barrier started burning, <laughs> I switched over to my astral form and swam through the fire. Then I popped into the boy. Mm. My energy was low, and I was so close to dying, none of you could even tell I was in him. Waiting to get all my power back. The second I did, I was going to jump out and straight up murder you all. Give it up, lady. You lost. Dude. I like how she went and blocked Okaroon. I'm going to make you suffer for this. Okay. Once my power's back, I'll stab to your bones. <laughs> I'm sure you will. We're in charge, not you. You hear that? It's over for you. Give back my boss. He's so cute. Come back Give right now. Give back my boss. Give me if I were you, I'd forget all about getting rid of me. Because if I die, any hope you have of getting your nuts back dies with me. Oh. I'm in charge here because I got the kid by his balls. Literally. Oh, gosh. You're going to kill these bitches for me. So oh. go to the kitchen and grab a knife. Kill him and you get your nuts back. What? No way. Get on with it. Uh, he Make would not do mind. that. You want your balls or don't you? Get a knife and start killing. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, Garunyo! Got me stressing now. Such a bummer. How can you transform when we drove the old bat out of you? He can't. He shouldn't. I so love Ogarunyo. I'm so happy. He's got the power to drive evil spirits out of folks. You must have been hanging on to him real tight, because it looks like only your consciousness left the kid's body. Only your consciousness is in the doll. Your power's still in the kid here. Hey, that's pretty good, huh? I'm the only one that can put you back together. Only me. Who's got the power you, now? Was way in <laughs> line. You hmm. dumbass cat turd, hmm. rotten tangerine. Hmm. Rotten tangerine, rotten no, tangerine. I'm sorry. I am your sensei, squirt. You want to try to me? But I'm so happy that Okarunyo is still in the picture because I love him. I love that personality switch. That was awesome. How'd you transform just now? Um, he got angry. I don't know. I remember getting really mad. And next mm -hmm. thing I knew, I was that other me. Listen up. Sure, you're a bitter and mean old bag, but in the end, I get why. You felt as sorry for those dead girls as I did. So let's all chill out and be nice. Here's the deal. Mm -hmm. If you give his balls back, we'll give you back your power. Cool? All right. Okay, good. Then it's settled. Okay, lady, hand over his balls. They ain't with me. Of course they're not. Now look, Couldn't be that easy. A deal here. Give them back. I don't have them, I swear. I sort of lost them. Oh my I'm gosh. Sure How do you lose oh. someone's balls? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Guys, I love this show. <laughs> okay, so now I know, because I thought at the end, I thought that was just, you know, just a fun outro thing. Turbo Granny was here to stay. She's a character now. She's a character that's meant to stay in the squad, and now they're on the mission to find Okaroon's balls. <laughs> oh my gosh. I never would have thought I would be watching a show about finding little boy's balls. <laughs> There was so much about that episode that was so good. One, I really loved seeing a very realistic approach to a relationship and the start of a relationship. Like, I feel like there's so many things that people overthink in the beginning of a relationship and it's like, oh, should I say this? Should I say that? Like, oh, are they gonna take it wrong? Are they gonna think that I'm weird? Or, you know, all these little things that go unsaid that if you just said them, it would make a huge difference, right? Like if they were up front, right when they saw each other, like, hi, oh, I missed you. Oh, I had such a great weekend meeting you. None of that would have happened, right? None of that miscommunication. But of course, you know, that's just not how it works, right? So I think it was really nice to see that. I think the romance here is so well done. I love seeing them slowly closer and closer and like being brought back together. And then of course he lost his balls and now they're on the search to find it. And I like that they did keep turbo granny in the story she's funny she's a different character than everyone else and she's like the villain that you'll like to have around kind of thing like i feel like she'll turn into like a vegeta kind of thing a dragon ball z where vegeta starts out as i am watching this show right now so it's in my mind vegeta starts out as a villain and then he kind of becomes part of the family part of the tribe part of the z warriors right i feel like that's kind of what's gonna happen with turbo granny she starts out as the villain who took away okaroon's balls and all 
all this stuff. And then I think she'll become a part of the group in some kind of way because they still need to keep her around so they can find his balls. And then also they need to give her back her powers. But then also, how will that work? Because you know, we've got Okarun Yo now. Her powers want to stay with his body. So what's going to happen there? I don't know, because I really do love seeing Okarun versus Okarun Yo. That's what I call him. At least, I don't know if there's another name for it, but he's Okarun Yo to me. I love that it's a drag. <sighs> I love the personality switch. I think it's really fun to see the two sides of the same coin and I hope it's here to stick around. And I don't know if she will get those powers back because we need this other character, this other side to our boy. But I'm super excited to continue along this story and to see more of their relationship and their bonding experiences. And then also seeing the journey of getting his balls back and seeing Momo get stronger and stronger because we can already see her growth in this episode. And it was really nice to see that she she's already come so much farther along just in a few days and I love to see it she's gonna be really powerful soon and so will Okarunyo and I'm super excited to watch it but even more so I'm excited to watch it with you so make sure you like subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll know when the next one comes out so we can sit here and watch it together yeah it's so much fun every episode feels like a party because that intro gets me hype I'm ready and I'm just ready for the action I'm ready to get it going and it's gonna be a good time and I'm always super curious to see who is sticking with me here to the end because it really makes me so happy to know that we're here watching together. This is a party and I want you to be here with me. You're invited all the time, so keep coming back. But just so I know that you were here with me, comment. <laughs> I wanna say the balls. There's gotta be a ball emoji, right? Okay, comment your favorite balls emoji. You know, <laughs> comment any of your favorite ball emojis. <laughs> so I know that you stuck here with me to the end. It was such a good time. And now we're on the mission to find Okarun's balls. So we can start placing some here and see if maybe one of those are it. <laughs> Alrighty guys, I can't wait to continue watching the show with you guys, but in the meantime, I do upload a new video of a new show every single day so we can continue watching along together. <laughs> oh, Groot's balls. Oh my gosh, I never thought I would talk about a little boy's balls so much. It makes me uncomfortable when I say it that way, but Oh, Groot is a fictional character, so I'll think about it that way. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alrighty guys, I had so much fun with you today. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to sit here and watch with me. I really appreciate it. <laughs> I can't stop laughing now. I'll see you next time. Oh my gosh. Bye. Bye. <laughs>